be showcasing my custom ATST, which is interchangeable has interchangeable parts so that it can become the ATST Raider from the Mandalorian or a First Order ATST. First, I'm just gonna show off the features. Uh, it's basically just the ATST from, I believe, 2008 something, probably not eight, but earlier than that, I don't remember. It was in a Battle of Endor set, I or it was for the Battle of Endor, but it was just its own standalone set. So this isn't quite exactly how it goes. I didn't have the right piece back here because that's supposed to be that's not supposed to be clear and that piece is a little a little bit too long and it's not supposed to be white and that there is not supposed to be tan but you know and also it's dark gray for a reason i i know it's supposed to be light gray but you know who cares i don't so you j you're able to just open it up in the back and then take your figure just pop them in there and that's really the extent of it you're able to move the legs up or break it off crap you didn't see that okay so you're able to move the legs turn the head you're able to turn the guns here and that's about it So here it is as the uh, generic uh, Imperial ATST walker. So to change it, first you're going to start by taking off the head because that just makes it a lot easier. And then in the back, you're going to want to take off this leg. And then you're going to take a red leg of the, it's just the same exact build, and then put clip it on right there then next you're going to take the foot off of this gray leg and then just pop it onto the bottom Pop it onto the bottom just like that. And then pop the head back on. And now it's the ATST Raider from The Mandalorian, Episode 4. Got Din Djarin down there, custom figure, because I don't actually have him. Next, I'm going to show you how to turn it into a First Order ATST because Lego cheaped out on us and did not give us the full head. So you're going to want to start by changing the leg back to gray and taking off the head again because here is where a lot of work is going to be done on the head. Well, and not a lot, but you're going to be changing the head. So you're going to want to start by opening it and taking off the top. And then you just take this piece off, take this uh, one by two or two by two by two slope with a two by two tile on top, and put it on right there so that it has the open eyes sort of thing. And then you're going to take this and just Plug it in onto the bottom of the roof. And then you're just going to take off the guns. Take a 1 by 2 plate. Put one of the guns onto that plate. And then you're going to just pop it on. And then you're just going to close it up. Put the head on. And then you have a first order ATST, which can still just fit a, a minifigure. We'll take a first order stormtrooper. Because I don't have any epic characters. 
Gonna be honest, I hate the first order, but you know. Republic forever, I mean, what? So you're just gonna close that up, and then you have an a first order ATST. Doesn't look half bad. And it co again, it's just based off of that one really old, the very first ATST that LEGO made. Because, you know, why not? I have the pieces to do that, sort of, and I thought it'd be fun. It has basically the same exact features as the other two. So, I hope you enjoyed this showcase of my inter interchangeable ATST. And I will be coming out with a tutorial soon on how to build it. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.